As hard as he tried, the king of Syria could not capture the king of Israel. Every time his soldiers hid along a road to catch the king, Elijah the prophet told where they were hiding. Naturally, the king of Israel stayed away from that road and their plans fell through. When the king of Syria found out what Elijah was doing, he realized he would have to get rid of the prophet first. Then his soldiers would be able to trap the king of Israel. So he sent a great army of soldiers with horses and chariots to Dothan, where Elijah was living. They arrived at night. In the darkness, they quietly surrounded the town and then settled down to wait for daylight. All right, do you want to read the secret message? Sure. Okay, go ahead. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. God made the mountains, hills, rivers, and lakes. He made the forest and grassland. He made trees and flowers. He made birds, fish, cats, and dogs. Let's talk about how he made them. In the beginning there was only God, nothing else. Then God spoke, and suddenly the heavens and the earth were here. But the earth was covered with water and this was everywhere. So God said, Let there be light, and immediately light appeared. God separated the light from the darkness so that each day there will be time for darkness and time for light. God called the time of light day and day and he called the time of dark darkness night. Picture said Sam, the children are fe feeding two ducks. I will color the what have an orange dress, said Sam. Hey friends, welcome back to our cabin for another video here on our Alaskan homestead. This video is kind of like a firewood marathon. So we have had nothing but negative temperatures and it's just super cold and we have nothing but negative temperatures in the weeks ahead and that is Fahrenheit. So when we have temps that are that cold, we just blow through firewood like crazy. And as you guys know, we collected a lot of firewood this summer, but some of it is still wet and it needs to be seasoned before we can burn that in our wood stove. And then hopefully, Joe and I are gonna be getting back here into the addition to do a little bit of work on it. You guys know we are building a master bedroom addition on the back of our cabin, and it's coming along really well. Joe's been working on the tongue and groove siding. Uh, it's kind of like shiplap, you know, it clicks together and it just looks beautiful. So we've been experimenting with some different stains. Like I told you guys before, we plan on leaving the natural wood look in the bedroom. I really like it. It just looks, you know, clean and cabiny. And this is kind of the look we were going for, but I do want to paint an accent wall. So our bed's going to be going on this wall here coming off of this big window. And I think what I'm going to do is stain this wall only. That'll be behind our headboard. I'm going to stain that to be an accent wall, just kind of like break it up a little bit so it's not all one color, but we'll see. So we're going to be mixing some stuff together tonight and trying out some different colors and picking the one we like. And then who knows, I might even be able to get in here and get some staining done. I've been really pushing Joe to kind of get this project done because spring is like right around the corner. And you guys know we have a lot of plans for this summer with building our greenhouse and hopefully getting started on Joe's garage. Not only do I want to get moved in here, but I really need to free up Joe's schedule so that we can focus on those things outside once the weather clears up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
I was gonna show you guys my thought process for the stain that I chose. And you know, you gotta see the whole picture. You have to envision all of it to really understand. Cause I know a lot of you wanted me to whitewash the walls, which is this right here. See that? That's like too light. I mean, what is the purpose of that? The whole room is already light as it is. I just think this looks washed out, bland, no texture and character. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't like it. It's too light for me. And then we did try a little bit of a darker one, which is very similar to what's already on the wall. It's just a shade darker. But then we on accident, we didn't even do this on purpose. If I got stuff on it. We got some dark walnut stain. And dark walnut is one of my favorite colors. Like when I get old antique furniture and we repurpose it, like dark walnut is one of my colors. Our bed set, I bought a new comforter set, which we needed. We haven't gotten one in years. Is this beautiful burnt orange color. See that? So the pillow shams, the comforter set, is this burnt orange color. And then my window to floor drapes that I bought for the windows in here are this pretty cream color here. So it's kind of, it's not quite translucent. You can see that fabric there, just a cream color, but look at all three of these colors together. Let's put it over my shoulder. We've got the cream window curtains. And then you got the burnt orange bedding with this dark 
walnut stain that really brings out like the oranges and the darker colors in the wood and then you have this lighter color that's really pretty too so I think with all of this including the ceiling being this natural wood color like this I think that this darker wall is really gonna pop and I think with these colors going on it as the accent wall with the bed I think it's gonna look really pretty. I got some cute little nightstand lamps for me and Joe. And then you get like a couple cute little plants, bring in some pops of green. I think it's gonna look really cute, so I'm excited. So we're gonna get started on staining some of this tonight. I don't know if we'll finish it, but I'm really happy with the color that we chose. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Town pretty late. I spent the week thinking about her next day. It was easier than so much easier than. Or like the time I picked you up outside of school. You said, Screw my dad, I make my own rules. It was easier than so much easier than. Take me back to the Take me back to those easy summer days When we stopped at nothing, baby Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby They couldn't take us They couldn't change us They couldn't catch us if they tried No, we didn't care at all About winter or spring or fall We felt so alive and girl, we were thriving On kisses and sunshine and mischief yeah, we had one of those things uh, We just had one of those things Ooh. I guess I've had some things to figure out But now that I'm done, I'm full of doubt Was it easy for you? Yeah, was it too easy for you? You used to say that you would always be mine But you seem to be doing just fine Now I think about you I just can't seem to stop thinking about you Take me back to the Take me back to those easy summer days When we stopped at nothing, babe Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby They couldn't take us They couldn't change us They couldn't care as if they tried Now we didn't care at all About winter or spring or fall We felt so alive And girl, we were thriving On kisses and sunshine and mischief Yeah, we had one of those things
good morning. So welcome back to another day here at the cabin. We are working on processing the firewood that Joe got yesterday, and my goodness, he got a ton of it. I was actually working on editing the beginning half of this video and just watching him do all the work. I'm like, you deserve a back massage, so maybe I'll have to surprise him and give him a really good back massage. Like, he did a lot of work. Normally, I am out there helping him, but I was homeschooling the boys, and so he went out and got all that wood on his own. So we are going to get started processing all of this wood. It's good and dry. This is good dry firewood that will be going in the wood stove right away when we need it. So we're gonna be getting it all ready and just stacking it on the porch, probably under the porch too, because we've got a ton of it. So we did have clear skies this morning, but the clouds have rolled in and we are actually expecting snow today. So we're trying to get all this wood put up before the snow comes. So what do you guys think of my new uh, little Bali clava? I just got this and I love it. So it's really cool. It has adjustable cinching straps here so it can actually extend to go over like a snow machining helmet. And then it's also a Bali clava to keep you warm. And you can cinch these down and tighten it around your face to keep you warm. And then it's also like a scarf in here. I mean, it's just all over head warmth. I'm all about it. I like it a lot. I will link it for you guys in the video description. I saw it um, online and I was like, let me just get it and try it out. It's fleece, it's really warm and I love it a lot. So I'm gonna try it out today while we work.
is what I do when I'm out. So I try not to hold me down. Feel alive. I am in this town. Thought that beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. Nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down.
Hey friends, welcome back. Oh, what's that? Hi. Hi. I'm Moose. Hi. What's up my nose? Right Stop it! I can feel it though. <laughs> They're actual like frozen hairs. It's not. Oh my gosh, babe, does that hurt? It's not. What? Ew. Fuck. They're little frosty balls. Stop it right now. Babe, look what we've become. <laughs> <laughs> 